everyone if you're new to the channel you can subscribe to the channel for future updates and guys please visit my website guys you can check the link in the description below and of course i have launched the new instagram account and make sure you follow for more future updates enjoy the solutions hello everyone welcome to this uh part one uh i want to continue we ended up on number four the last video and we're going to number five of mathematics a 2016 now number five is about the maximum function right so let's say the under the condition of 2x squared plus y squared equals 4 for real numbers of x y the maximum value of 4x plus y squared is what and minimum value of that is also asked Okay, so how to do that? The simple way to do this is that you look at the equation there and you can actually find the value of y squared equals this, right? And you ask the maximum value of that, you can just substitute it, substitute y squared with that. So 4x plus 4 minus 2x squared. And now you are given the function minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 4 and now to find the maximum value you just make differentiated that function equals 0 so minus 4x plus 4 equals 0 so x is 1 and you, when you put that 1 there that is minus 2 plus 4 plus 4 go to 6 this is the maximum value of the function there and now how to find the uh, the minimum value now to find the minimum value is actually uh, kind of tricky actually because you see that we have the, the function of 4x plus y squared okay now y squared is this 4 minus 2x squared now the minimum value means is that for y squared it should be greater or equal to zero right and then we could actually solve this to x squared minus four uh, we change the sign four and x squared is two x is either plus minus root two and we could just you know substitute between root two and minus root two to the function that is minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 4 and uh, find which one smaller if we put it root 2 so root 2 squared plus 4 root 2 plus 4 this is uh, will be equal to minus 4 plus 4 root 2 plus 4 is 4 root 2 and if we put x equals minus root 2 in so there is minus 2 minus root 2 squared plus 4 minus root 2 plus 4 this is equal to minus 4 minus 4 root 2 plus 4 that is minus 4 root 2 so that is the minimum value of the uh, 4x plus y squared and this is the answer key and yep that is the correct answer okay and now let's continue to number 6 now, number six is the question about a probability of something. It says that there, there are five white balls. Let's make that W, that. And there are three red balls. Now, if we put these eight balls in a row with no adjoining red balls, then the number of these arrangements is what? The meaning of no adjoining red balls is that these balls cannot be uh, adjacent to each other. So this is prohibited, but this is possible. So this is the arrangement that they want. So they ask what is the number of the arrangement. And you can see that the red balls can only put in this order. So it can be R, 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 or R, R, and here R, right? So, how to find the arrangement? You can see that white balls, no matter how they you know move, 
between them there could be are or empty or themselves right so there are these three red balls there is interchange between this position there are six position where three R can go so this is six factorial over 36 combination of three so that is uh, uh, six the the usual formula is this right so six factorial three factorial three factorial is 20 right so that is the value of the arrangement if there is no adjoining red balls now if we put these eight balls in a row with adjoining red balls now this is mean that this is allowed right and then this is allowed too okay uh, I think that's the arrangement for that and now we have to just you know find it one by one we first find this possibility then we find this possibility now for WRR so red balls could be make into that right now these balls can interchange their position to each other and now they are now classified into like only two first we have three now we have two the adjoining balls here is like you know we assume that into one so these balls can interchange so there are six position and now we have two so that is uh, 6c2, so 6 factorial for uh, 2 here, so that is equal to 15, right? But of course, this actually uh, can be reversed with each other. So what I mean is that when you have RR like that, the probable position is like this, right? And R and R, right? You can follow that and then we can the position can be like this but this position can be reversed the r can be here like that so if we have this a 15 possible arrangement and now when we reverse that it will become another 15 so that is 30 okay so that is the possibility of the the possible arrangements for double r and for triple r Now we have this as we assume that into one. So this one can move it into another position. So this is six one, six C one, six combination one. That is six. So the total of the possible arrangement with adjoining red balls is 30 plus six, which is 36. Okay. So that is the answer for number six. And now let's go to number seven. Number seven says about binary number, binary number of one zero one zero zero one zero one is equal to the decimal number of what? So basically, binary numbers is actually just, uh, it's not actually something really fancy about it. Let me show you the example of you know how we can actually form binary numbers for example if you have 45 okay then you divide it by 2 it has to be divided by 2 it will be 24 with the residue i mean the you know one right because sorry 22 and one so like 2 times 22 is 44 if you add 1, it's 45. So this is like the definition of that. Now, this would be our uh, first binary number. And now, if you divide 22 by 2, this will be 11 with no residue, 0. So this is our second binary number. Then you have 
11 divided by 2 is will be 5 with a residue of 1, another binary number. Then if you have 5 divided by 2, it will become 2 with a residue of 1, another binary number. Then if you have 2 divided by 2, it would be, it would be 1 with a residue of 0 and 0. And you have 1 divided by 2, what is that? It's 0 with a residue of 1. So this is the binary number of 45. Now, because we are given this binary number in the first place, we worked it up in the reverse direction, right? So bear with me. Because we ended up in 0, okay, so... Just, you know, if we have a binary number, work from right to left. And assume that everything is start with 0. Times 2 plus 1 is 1, right? 1 times 2, 1 times 2 plus 0, 2. Now we have here 2 times 1. 2 times 2, 2 times 2, plus 1, 5, right, we have here, 5 times 2 plus 0, 10, we have here, then 10 times 2 plus 0 is 20, we have here, and then 20 times 2 plus 1, which is 41, now we have here. Now, 41 times 2 plus 0, 82. And then the last one, 82 times 2 plus 1, 165. So, the binary number 10100101 is equal to the decimal number of 165. So, that is how do you do binary number. And you can see the answer key. Yep, that is the answer, 165. And now, number 8. Logarithm again. 2 minus logarithm with the base 10, 2 minus 2 logarithm base 10, 5 is written as single logarithm of logarithm base 10. Of what? So this is basically just, you know, testing your knowledge here. Remember that logarithm 10, logarithm with the base 10 of 10 is 1. Because, you know, this is 10, 10 to the power of 1. So for that become 2, it will be logarithm 10, 100, minus logarithm base 10, 2, and then this 2 in the outside, you put that in, become a power. 5 squared, 5 to the power of 2, 25. And remember, if you have the same base, you want to subtract that, you just, you know, divide it. That is logarithm 10, logarithm with base 10. And that, the answer is 2. Okay? So, that is for number 8. Now, for number 9. What is the shortest distance from origin 0, 0.0 to the line that passing through A, we draw the point 2.3 to B, 3.5. Okay, so let like we have this line, and what is the close? The, what is the shortest distance from 0, 0.0 to that line? Now we didn't need to you know do anything fancy here. That's actually the formula for it. The simple reason is this can be form a line. Now, how to form a line with two points? There is a formula for that. It is y minus minus one over y two minus y one. Uh, equal to x minus x1 over x2 minus x1. So we assume that this as x1 and minus 1, and it is x2 and minus 2, right? So y minus minus 1 is 3, y minus y1, y minus 3 over 5 minus 3 over x minus 2 over 3 minus 2, y minus 3 over 2, x minus 2 plus 1, so 
y minus 3 equals 2 times x minus 2, y minus 3 equals 2 x minus 4, y equals 2 x minus 1. So that is the line, the equation of a line of this. And now we put that into this form. Okay, simple. Let's move that there. And now the shortest distance between a point and a line have the formula this. Let's say the point is P point Q. Okay, and let's say we have the equation of x AX plus BY plus C equals 0. The distance is AP plus BQ plus C over A square plus B square. Now we substitute the number with the original uh, equation here, point and the line. That is A is 2, P is 0, B is minus 1, but Q is 0, then C is minus 1 over a is 2, two squared plus squared. That is minus 1 over root 5. Remember, because it's an absolute sign and a distance value could not be negative, there it is 1 over root 5. Right? And now for the number 10. Number 10, we have a triangle. A, B, C. A, B is 6. B, C is 7. B, A, C. The angle B, A, C is 60. So, C, A is what? And now, this is just a simple. We can just use, you know, the cosinus, cosinus law, which says that if you have A, B, C, then you have the angle alpha, for example. You have that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine alpha. We apply that to this side. So 7 squared equals 6 squared plus ac squared minus 2 times 6 times ac cosine 60. Cosine 60 is half. Cross that. Cancel that. So 49 equals 36 plus AC squared minus 6 AC uh, minus 6 AC. Then we have AC squared minus 6 AC plus a minus 13. Okay, because this uh, didn't have any, you know, factor that we can factorize to. We use the ABC rule. That is, to find the root of this equation, this is equal to minus b plus b squared over 4ac over uh, 2a, right? With the general equation, ax squared plus bx plus c. The coefficient of b is minus 6, so it is 6 plus or minus 36 minus 4 times 1 times minus 13 over 2 yeah over 2 it is 6 plus 36 plus 52 88 over 2 we could make that you know uh simplify that root become 2 th times root 22 equals 3 plus or minus uh root 22 and now, which sign do we use? We just, you know, predict the value of root 22. You know, uh, below that is root 16. It's already 4. It is impossible we make 3 minus 4 and the value of AC becomes negative. So we have the value of AC is 3 plus root 22. Okay, so that is everyone for Mathematics A 2016 Part 1. Yep, stay tuned for number 2.